Hello everyone, in today's video I have something a little bit different from me. It is some 3D gel Halloween nail art. I started by mixing my uh, 3D gel with CS... was that CS14? <laughs> and 80533 from Blue Sky. Um, just trying to make a skin toned colour, something similar to my own skin tone, but it, it really wasn't that close in the end, but uh, you know, just so it looks flesh toned. Um, if you want a more in-depth tutorial on how to make 3D gel of your own, I suggest checking out um, Denise John's Nail Ed's channel. She has a lot of videos on different ways to make 3D gel. Um, but I'm using this Accents Gel Art Powder, but you could definitely use a really nice, fine, clear acrylic powder. But like I said, go and check out Denise John's channel, which I'll link in the description. Um, yeah, I just started out by adding a few scoops of the powder, mixing it together, then adding more powder depending on, you know, if I felt like it needed it. I basically just wanted the thickness that it can hold its shape without, like, leveling out too much. But then you don't want it too dry that you can't work with it at all. Once I had mixed up a colour that I felt was, you know, similar to skin tone, you could tell it was going to be skin, I hope. Um, I use my dotting tool to scoop some onto half of my nail, kind of diagonally. I do have a gel polish base coat on here, because this is on, well, it's kind of on my natural nail. I do have, still have a tiny bit of hard gel left on there, but it's mainly my natural nail. So yeah, I have the base coat on there, and I just put on some of the uh, 3D gel mixture onto half of my nail in a diagonal shape, but you would do whatever shape you were going to have your wound to be. Um, you don't want this to be too thick because it won't cure. If you want it to be thicker, I suggest doing uh, one layer and then another layer on top of it. I'm using a flat brush here that has been dampened with isopropyl alcohol. It's not soaking in it. You just want it to be damp enough that the 3D gel doesn't stick to it. And I'm just smoothing out the skin so it's not too thick or bulky and there's no lumps where I don't want them. And also kind of going under that edge, the diagonal edge that goes across the nail to get a kind of uh, a lip where the wound is going to be. You don't want that to be too perfect. You don't want it to be too rounded. You want it to be kind of organic and natural, you know, not too overshaped, but you do want there to be a little lip and then once I was happy with that I cured it and I'd repeated pretty much the same process on the opposite side of the nail dotting on the 3d gel with my dotting tool and then using my flat brush dampened with isopropyl alcohol to smooth it out and uh, create another lip on the other side and again trying to make it not too smooth but um, yeah still have a lip. If you get any onto the skin just make sure to remove it before you cure the nail. You can see I kind of push under the edge so it lifts up a bit and then I use my brush to go into the side so it's not just one uniform uh, edge. It has waves and ripples and um, little indentations in it. And then once happy with that, I cured that again completely. Uh, I do cure this for 60 seconds just to make sure that it is fully cured. Once it was fully cured, I felt as though it was not the right colour for me. Maybe a little bit too light. So I got Nude 10, which is kind of a sheer brownie nude. And I just sponged that on with, this is actually sort of, um, a buffer that I cut up. Uh, and I'm just kind of sponging that on, but because this is such a sheer colour, I think I've mentioned this before when I swatched it, it didn't really do a whole lot, so after I cured that I did it go up in with some other colours later on, but first I wiped off the tacky layer and I went in with a file to make sure that the side walls weren't too bulky and also that the free edge was smooth and not bulky as well, because although this is a 3D now, you still want it to look semi-decent, not funny shaped. I mean it will be funny shaped because it's a 3D um, nail, but yeah. And then uh, once finished filing I uh, cleaned it off and I added a bit of 
80534, I think that was, uh, and dabbed that with the nude tan onto the nail. And I'm dabbing it on rather than brushing it on to give it more of a textured look because, you know, if you look at skin, it's not all one uh, colour. There is a bit of texture to it. So I just kind of dabbed that around. And I think it did help, but it's still not my skin tone, but it is. it does look more skin-like. Then I took my Blue Sky Matte Top Coat and I brushed that onto all of the skin area of the nail. Not my actual skin, the nail skin. That sounds so weird. Um, but I used the brush that I used before because I thought it might leave more brush strokes than using the actual polish brush. I didn't want too much matte top coat on there that it smoothed everything out, but I wanted to matte the skin. Does that make any sense? You know, I wasn't too bothered if there were brush strokes on there because again, skin is textured. So for the bloody part, I'm taking A45, which is slightly a bit too pink than I'd like. So if you've got a better blood red, then use that. And A518 from Blue Sky, which is just a basic black. And I'm using mainly black with a little bit of red. And I'm taking that right around the perimeter of the cut, right into the deep crevices. Um, to be honest, I should have just put this over the whole inside of the cut, but I don't know why I didn't. I was just putting it around the edges and onto the underside of like the skin flap. <laughs> that sounds gross. Um, this is to add depth and don't worry if it gets onto the skin part because it just really adds to the goriness of it. And once you've applied that in there, just cure it. And then I'm going in with more red, less black. Um, although I think I did add more black into it to fill the entire wound area. Uh, if you get any onto the skin, like I said, don't worry too much. You have a few options. You can leave it there and cure it. You can uh, use a sponge to smear it as if you know you'd accidentally wiped the um, blood like like so or just completely remove it with just a bit of isopropyl alcohol on a lint-free wipe because it is gel so as long as you haven't put it in the light you can take it off whenever you like so it's starting to look a little bit more gory now um, I decided I want a bit of texture in the wound, so I took some more of my 3D art powder. I started out quite tentatively with just a tiny bit, uh, but I ended up needing a whole lot more. Um, and just mixed some blood, goopy blood, together. To be honest, I think I should have added even more art powder than I did, um, because the texture kind of self-leveled away. So if you do want more texture in there, then just be prepared to add more, uh, powder to your gel to make it hold its shape but I just took that and kind of blobbed it into the wound trying to make it look a little bit more textured because I just imagine that you know if it was a meaty wound like this that there would be texture in there I don't know I'm really just making this up as I go along I would like to mention that this is only my um, second time playing with 3d gel and my first time ever using it on an actual nail so it's obviously not perfect but uh, practice helps I just keep adding that mixture in there until I'm semi happy with how the inside looks it looks quite dark on camera but I'm hoping that when I do the close-ups you can see better what is going on I have actually swatched, swapped to a dotting tool at this point, if you can see there, just to try and give it more texture. Once that was cured, I decided to go back in with some pure red. This is adding some more dimension to the wound, and I'm just going to put that over the top of pretty much the whole inside of the wound. and. It doesn't look as pure red as the pure red, but it's got more, I, could, I don't know, it just makes the wound look more 
fresh. That might be what I'm looking for. And then I took some black and I added that where the red was on the skin because this, the red was looking a bit pink when it went onto the skin so I added in some black and I also kind of marveled some black through the red as well to again add more texture and more dimension to the center of the wound which I think you can really only see in real life you can't really see it in photos or on video but it is there and I can see it so that's all that matters really at this point I was unsure how much uh, blood to put onto the skin so I was kind of just dotting it around and uh, hoping for the best and I think it was looking pretty cool at this point so I popped it into the light and cured it now I'm doing, going back in with my matte top coat and that little brush again and just matting out the skin for a second time Then I took my no wipe top coat and I put that basically anywhere that there was blood because obviously the blood would be wet so anything that I want to look wet I left shiny with the no wipe top coat. The whole center, I kind of think I put too much into the center portion of the wound because it kind of took away from any texture that was there so if you are doing this be aware to use your top coat sparingly so that you don't take away from the texture in there. Uh, it still looks perfectly fine I think, but if I was to do this again I maybe would use less top coat. And I also took that top coat onto the edges of the skin flaps and anywhere that the blood was on the skin because like I said the, the blood would be um, wet and shiny. So I wanted that to contrast from the matte uh, of the skin. Just for your reference, this nail took me about half an hour, maybe 45 minutes, so it is quite time consuming. I'm not saying it's going to take a whole lot longer to do the extra fingers because you'd be doing them at the same time, so it might speed you up, but like I said, this was only my second ever play with 3D gel, so I probably worked a bit slow. Um, if you have any of the 3D gel underneath the nail, I've just got this little battery powered nail drill, it's really not that strong, but I just use that to go under the edge, or if you've got an e-file you can use that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all for this video. I think it turned out really cool and I think it would look awesome on all, you know, 10 nails or even just as an accent finger, especially if you've got some sort of costume that is gory like that. Um, yeah, that is the finished wound. If you have any questions on um, anything about this, please leave them below and I will try and answer them the best I can. Like I said, I am no expert of 3D work, but I do enjoy doing it. So I hope to do more in the future. Anyway, thank you for watching and I shall see you in my next video.